Okay, so I'm just going to use this as a reference. Um, this particular mask here appears to be, from what we've seen of the rear shots in the footage in question, to be similar, if not the same mask as what I have here. Um, I don't actually know the model of it. I, I was basically given it and I'm not able to fully use it right now because it does have some broken parts. But the faceplate here is what Swinney would have been shooting at. It is solid acrylic, single piece. Yes, or I mean, maybe not acrylic, but polycarbonate. Yes, polycarbonate is a very dense and durable material. But as soon as you get past that, it's going to shatter. And that will make one dangerous projectile into possibly a dozen more dangerous projectiles because then you not only have a ball, uh, a biodegradable plastic ball full of paint coming at your eye, but you also have sharp shards of polycarbonate plastic coming at your eye. The intent was still there to do, you know, a, a probable chance of significant harm. Maybe he wasn't purposefully saying, I'm going to shoot this guy's mask out to cause injury. But you don't know what people are wearing. You don't know the materials of them. And that is definitely something that would factor in. Now, it's not the, the inherent dangerousness of the weapon. It's how you use it. There's actually a case where, you know, a tennis shoe was used as a dangerous weapon under the Assault 2 statute.